Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Throughout FC25 so far, there's been one type of SBC that we have been missing. That big marquee player SBC. Whether it's an icon, whether it's a hero, or maybe a player of the month SBC, we've been awaiting something that's worth putting a lot of our fodder and grind into, you know, like something that takes multiple days to complete because it's an expensive SBC, but for a player that actually feels like it's a big player and the player of the month, Puteus, that is leaked to maybe be coming today, fits that bill exactly in my eyes. We got to talk about that. That's probably the biggest SBC we've had released so far this year, and it's expected to be today. What's it going to do to fodder and the rest of the market? It's going to make things go a bit crazy. So we have to talk a lot about that, but we can't not talk about what is going on right now in Rush. Guys, there is a glitched Rush objective with a Rush event kind of coinciding together to create a really easy way to get packs. Is EA going to fix it? What's going to happen there? And we got to look towards more content content coming today on Monday that might help us actually get a big SBC done. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about this rush objective and the new rush mode that dropped yesterday, guys. We have the Trailblazers versus Team of the Week new rush mode flash rush event, you'll call it, and the objective. It's really easy. You have to just play 10 games and then also play one match with the Trailblazers and one match with the Team of the Week. Really easy to get done. You get some player picks, 84 doubles, 83 doubles. The pack are honestly really solid and it's incredibly easy to get this done because when you go into the rush mode you can go into drop-ins you don't have to play with friends you go into the drop-ins to this mode right here the trailblazers versus team of the week you don't even have to finish the game guys this has been glitched since it was released if it'll load for me maybe it's not gonna load there we go right here this mode right here is glitched if you go into this go into the start of the game the game goes for kicks off maybe a couple of seconds and then you quit out you will go to objectives and see that you will get progress even for quitting out of that game and not completing it it will count as a game played towards an objective and you can very easily and very quickly get this done it seems kind of like a cheating way right it's like ea's objective system is counting the quits as a game played which usually in other objectives doesn't count for games played, right? When you play a game and you quit out, it doesn't count. So it's interesting that this one works, but it's creating a really big issue right now in terms of playing Rush. I tweeted this out yesterday because I went into a game of Rush on stream and literally you're playing by yourself and then a lot of times the other team will end up forfeiting and quitting because all four players will quit out since like everybody is doing this right now in Rush. And it actually, I know it is kind of a negative thing. It's like, wow, EA, the game is broken, like fix this. I mean, it's also nice to get the packs for really easy. Like it's actually a really easy time to get evolutions and objectives other objectives done, especially evolutions done in rush because you can, I like I did yesterday, go in and actually play the rush mode and then get a rage quit because the whole other team will quit out because they're doing this glitch. Now, of course, if you're playing rush for the game mode itself, like to have fun with some friends, then it is going to be unbearable playing this game mode for probably the next couple of days while this objective is out. And I do even believe, uh, think that we have some rush objectives that are refreshing either today or tomorrow. The normal rush objectives refresh for the points. So it's going to be a bit annoying, but um, yeah, that's kind of the state of rush at the moment. And you saw a lot of people tweeting about that yesterday. There's a lot of news and info about that and how it works, how it doesn't all you got to do is just go in and quit out i don't think ea will ban people for this technically it is it's not really a gameplay glitch because it's just objective related you know what i'm saying so it's really weird yes there are rewards involved we'll see if ea says anything about it today um i would assume that they would but it's only out for a couple of days so it's a very short time period and it's honestly a very easy objective anyway it just kind of stains something that was supposed to be kind of fun and i know that not a lot of people see rush as like super fun but at least i thought the idea of trailblazers versus team of the week it's also very 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 easy to get rush points through that so i thought that idea was decent but kind of the whole glitch thing makes it look a bit different let's talk about evolutions yesterday where we had a paid evo a 100,000 coin paid evo called no pressure and it gives out press 
proven plus and a sizable stat upgrade. But once again, just like the Jude Evo, we talked about it the last couple of days, it is the stat limits that kind of limit some of the Evos that can go into this. Yes, this Nkunku looks pretty good. Yes, there's a lot of players from your club and maybe my club as well that look pretty good that are maybe worth doing and maybe emotional for you as well. But also, it does kind of limit those top tier of cards. So for me, this one for 100,000 coins, you know what? Like Marcus Urente, that one's one of the cards that I think is honestly worth it from this. Kind of reminds a lot of people of his Evo from last year, right? Maybe Kamavinga is kind of worth it from this as well. I've actually got both of those cards in the club. And those are two of the most popular players coming out of this evolution, right? If you take a look at this Marcus Urente, this is the best comparison. For 100,000 coins, you get a Marcus Urente that isn't that far off from his promo card that was just released. And this card was 300,000 coins. Now it's about 260k. So that's where a lot of people are looking at this and saying, Nate, it's actually not that bad a value. I don't disagree, but only for a few cards. I don't know. Me spending 100,000 coins right now when coins are so important and a lot of the content that EA has been releasing is draining my coins even a little bit from SBCs. I want to be more careful in terms of something like this. But if it's somebody meta, somebody emotional for you, or you just live for Evos, then absolutely go ahead and do it. It just seems like a little bit of a steep price. Press Proven Plus, I don't know if I love... It's a good playstyle plus, but... It also feels like it's just going to be specific for a certain area of the pitch. Like, I don't know if I'd want my striker, Yikeriz, to have this. I don't even know if I'd want a center mid like this Loftus Cheek card, who I evolved for a double Evo. And yeah, he looks really good, but if I take a look at his card, it's like, well, he only would have a playstyle plus and relentless. That doesn't really seem worth it to me. So, I'm going to have to do some searching and see who I really want to put into this. Let me down in the comments which one you guys are going to go for with this, but there's a lot of hype for sure for the Kamavinga, for the Orente. The Nkunku would be up there as well. The Kyle Walker. If it's somebody that you use in your team and you can just give them this boost and you're going to use them a lot more, then I think it's worth it. So that plus the SBCs from yesterday are starting to hurt the market a bit. We're going to get into that here in a second. Now, the SBCs that we had yesterday, the big one. Well, let's actually go to the small one first. The small one was we had a player SBC, Retagui, uh, the Italian. I believe he's Italian, right? Striker. Very cheap SBC. Yeah, Italian striker here. He's got Trivella plus 86 rated. Very, very cheap SBC, 81 and 82 rated squads. You do need two team of the weeks to get it done. If that interests you, it is there. Let's talk about the big SBC, right? The base hero upgrade pack. Guys, they did it. And what we didn't expect them to do was release this cheaper than the Max 88. I was shocked right away yesterday when I saw this SBC being cheaper than the Max 88 hero that we had just last week. I actually went and insta completed it and I had my best hero pack pull of the year. You can see that on the second channel, guys. Yesterday was an absolute movie on the stream with this account, with Weekend League, how it progressed, who we bought and used in the team, and some it was just a movie. It, you gotta watch it. It's on the second channel. I'll link it right up above here. We did pack a new hero for the squad. Not an insane one, but a good one, very usable one. And a lot of people ended up doing this SBC yesterday because it was cheap once again. Only 150,000 coins makes it really like i don't want to say worth it but it makes it cheap right again with big sbc players like the putes we're going to talk about around the corner maybe you start refraining from some of the stuff and this is one that i think about now as like maybe this was the last hero upgrade pack that i'm going to be doing if there's going to be a player sbc that's out that i'd like to push towards and do then i'm probably not going to be opening too many more of these especially if you're somebody who I mean, apart from the one card that I got yesterday, I've gotten burnt on all the Icon and Hero Packs so far. They have been not good gambles for me. They have not paid out. So I'm kind of getting a little tired of that as well. And if that's you, then I would say this is probably a good place to just say, you know what? I tried a few, tried my luck for right now. I'm going to take a step back and maybe just focus on more guaranteed SBC players and stuff like that. There's still cheap gamble packs like the Total Rush Upgrade RTTK Party Bag one. That one's super cheap. I did that one again yesterday. That one doesn't put as much of a dent to your club and fodder as a base hero does, even though the base hero is not that expensive anyway. But speaking of fodder, guess what's up? The 85s, the 86s, guys. These were the best investment yesterday for sure. Uh, below 6,000 coins and right at 6K during squad that rewards, spiking all the way up over 7,000 coins. They're just back down a little bit now, but I would imagine they would go a little bit back higher above 7,000 coins today for the 85s. More SBCs coming today, tomorrow, and then probably by Wednesday, just like every single week, you'd want to get out. Now, something I've actually noticed last week and maybe even the week before on Fodder is selling on like 
Monday or Tuesday is sometimes the best when it comes to the fodder prices here. Now, it's not for every single rating, but especially the lower rateds, getting out a little bit earlier when the bigger SBCs are released and then when they refresh as well is kind of the best time to go ahead and do that. But I would expect fodder since we're climbing out of the weekend. People are going to get their last set of foot champs rewards today. People are going to go be doing SBCs. More SBCs coming, of course, the next couple of days. Fodder's looking like a good hold on really all levels. The only fodder that I would have considered since selling yesterday would have been 84s and 85s in the peak of the content drop when these went from 84s went all the way above 3 3.5 3 3.3 to 3.5k on some cards there and then the 85s were selling over 7000 coins as always if you're invested there feel free to list for lazies and even speaking of fodder we got to look at team of the weeks for a quick second too i like to talk about fodder cards and golds and then team of the weeks at the same time team of the weeks i think we're reaching um maybe not new highs but they're just starting to creep up just ever so slightly i think they were all minimum 12.5k or 12.75 yesterday on the market currently team of the weeks are right around 12k into the selling at 11.75 so ea keep requiring them they're going to slowly just keep inching up in price um ea is going to keep supplying them too but the more spcs we get those will probably just continue to go slightly slightly up over time now for the rest of the market of course since you have a hundred and fifty thousand coin hero pack that's released guess what prices went down on a lot of players especially as we normally see when these spcs drop people that are selling oh let me go sell my kunde to go buy some 85s to go complete this spc right kunde went from 58,000 coins down to 46k Ferland mendy i mean guys there were some really big drops yesterday Ferland mendy 75,000 coins right now he started at 88k almost 90,000 coins down to 69k then back up a little bit you even saw some drops on players like saliba Min son is down from where he was before uh bonmati was down teo hernandez that's wow that's pretty low for him too even some like higher tier golds like Mohamed salah rudiger valverde is under 300,000 coins there was a lot of meta cards dropping yesterday but i think there could be some rebounds today because I know in the past couple of weeks, we've had decent rebounds on Mondays. If you go back and take a look at some of the graphs, in packs cards, out of packs cards, the like, there's been some decent rebounds on Mondays as people have gotten coins and gone out and bought teams. Now, last week, you're like, Nate, remember last week on Monday, the market crashed even further? Well, yeah, it did. It, a lot of stuff crashed crazy last week, right? Sun was 300K last Thursday, ended up Monday morning at 172,000 coins before rebounding just a little bit. I don't think we're going to see the exact same trend that we saw last week because the market isn't being panic sold off like crazy i actually think there's a decent chance for rises today and if you want to look into some cards to flip you could get risky with the new promo team because some of these cards have a lot of demand people want to try out the new stuff marmouche specifically pop bremer luis diaz rodman those are some cards that people really want to try out or you could go a little bit less risky and go out of pack specials cards that are continuing to move this trend is a card that I love to flip, right? He continues to move. He's now back up. This Shuomeni is down again. He was 515 yesterday after the hero pack, right? He was 550, went down to 515, and went all the way back up to 550. Like, that's not insane profit, but if you if you buy two of those, yeah, that's solid. You're making 50K between two of those cards right there. You're making 25K a card, like low 500s to 550 sell price. So that's not bad. That's really not bad. For flipping and if you look at some other mid-tier lower tier budget cards this marquinhos is a really good one to flip you've got trailblazers now from team one that are out of packs again be careful with the orente he's down a lot because of the evo for his card but the duran card keeps going up robinson was panic sold yesterday he's now coming back up in price same thing with pulisic and then of course always out of packs team of the weeks cards if you're on a lower budget some of these team of the weeks are still going into uh, Evos, not necessarily Toro Martinez. I wanted Martinelli, is who I was just searching for. This Martinelli inform 53k. Remember, he spiked all the way to 67,000 coins yesterday. Uh, he was 53k, spiked up to 61. If he goes from 53 to 61 again today, which is I think possible, out of packs inform card budget type of player fits into an evolution to get power shot plus. He could easily go from low 50s up into the uh, low 60s again today, and you could have some movement. So that's where all of my coins are at the moment. I'll show you guys a couple of the cards that I picked up. Uh, I picked up a Rafinha because he goes into the Power Shot Plus Evo. He also is a rare card out of packs and links to the potential Puteas today. Picked up a Diogo Dalo for 217 on bid and a Gabriel for 325 on bid because I was like, man, that's just really, really cheap. Hoping that we see a little bit of a market bounce back today. But... 
I don't know how long I will hold those cards. I'm hoping that it's like a nice rise pre-content, even with the rumors and the, you know, the hype of the SBC coming today. I still think we'll see a decent amount of market rise before then. So I'll probably try to sell some of these cards before the content drop, just so I can get my coins back for the madness that may happen later on. Now let's talk about it, guys. We're here to talk about this SBC. Puteus player of the month foot shares is confirming the leak here and guys it's believed this sbc is going to be coming out today because it was exactly a month ago when we had the aji body sbc released as well for the player of the month liga f as you can see her sbc is about to expire today and so far this year like we just had the laminia mall player of the month expire and what came right after it of course, the Lewandowski. So it's kind of happening in succession this year. One SBC goes away, the next one comes in. That's what we normally expect. Now, could EA have other ideas? They could, but it's believed that this would be dropping today, Puteas. And it's such a massive SBC, guys. This is the official card according to leagues from earlier in the week from Foot Donk. We talked about this one. The thing that I think is really interesting about Puteas is number one, she is one of the best gold cards in the game, one of the most used cards. This is a gold card that would work in your team and be usable kind of like vvd mbappe Vinny, until the end of the calendar year you could probably be using puteas up and until team of the year maybe even a little bit past because she has a play style plus she's five star five star and just look at the state of those stats also the link ability with the barca links the spanish links very, very good card. This is going to be the first really insane SBC. I know we've had the Nico Williams. I know we've had the Rafinha that was pretty good. We've had Musiala, Robbie King. We've had plenty of SBC players so far this year. But this is like the biggest player, the biggest name player, arguably, that has been released as an SBC so far that has a lot of potential hype to be very meta as well. So it's a big player with meta attributes in the game. That's why this SBC is so good. And kind of like we've been talking about, right? Player of the Month, they're all always released for a month's time it's the player of the month they're out for a month that's the hope with this puteus is that it is could finally be the answer to that question number one that we've been investing in high rated fodder for those 89s and above could we finally see some 88 and 89 rated squad requirements in this hopefully but at the same time that could be an sbc that feels worth doing and grinding for over the month that it is out i've even started to look at my ultimate team right now and say this card would fit boom straight into my team if it were to come out now of course this card isn't that big of an upgrade over the gold. Probably the biggest change is the playstyle plus is changing. Instead of first touch plus, she is going to have Tiki Taka plus, which in my opinion is better than first touch. If you're going to use her as a center mid or as a center attack in mid, she's got either a roll plus or a roll plus plus in those categories too. Playmaker plus plus, Shadow Striker plus. And since that is the official leaked card, it's literally just a plus one on all of her stats and a plus one overall with the change playstyle plus. Could they add in another roll? Could they add in another playstyle or two? They absolutely could, but we're kind of basing it off of the gold. Now, let's talk about price. How much is this SBC going to cost us? Well, Usually, what we normally see when this sort of thing happens is whatever promo card is on the market that is for that same player that the new card is going to come out as an SBC in the same rating realm, it's usually pretty close in price. And the problem with that is this Puteus card, when the Puteus won Player of the Month, was still 1.8 to 1.9 million coins. And it's dropped off since then steadily every single day as people have been selling this and not wanting to buy it before the SBC comes out. My worry is that this SBC, that EA knows a lot of people are going to want to do it, kind of like an Mbappe Player of the Month. Those are always really expensive looking SBCs, but then you craft it over the month's time and you're like, wow, I can use this card for months and months and months. And and it feels worth it, right? That's, I'm worried that EA is going to overprice this SBC because of that exact same thing. I'm going to guess 1.5 mil for this 91 Puteus, which does seem a bit steep, but you think about the packs back that you'll get from it. Of course, you won't be spending 1.5 mil out of pocket to get it done. You'll be doing it over time. You got foot champs, you got rivals, you got all these rewards that are out, better rewards than in previous years. I know that means gameplay grind. And I know that means not a lot of fun times and enjoyment if you're doing more gameplay. Um, but I th I think that's where it's going to be valued. If it's le if it's around a million coins, oh, that would be fantastic. But usually with player of the months like this, they don't come in cheap because EA know exactly what they're putting out in terms of a meta card, right? So I'm going to guess 1.5 million coins. And then at that stage, you have to look at the gold and say, is it worth the price upgrade for that card? 
instead of just buying the gold card. That's something you're really going to have to consider. I do believe that this Puteus card has dropped a ton. It's from 500,000 coins to 295k. Like, that's a huge drop. If the SBC comes out at 1.2 to 1.5 million coins, you actually might see her gold card have a slight rebound just because people are like, screw that. I'm not going and doing that expensive of an SBC. But I do believe there would be still some panic selling today on this card. So watch out for that. And the same thing for this version. I wouldn't be buying this version until I see the actual price of the player of the month. And if it's over the price of this card, there could be a bit of a rebound. Um, but then I think the card would probably still drop over time because... Again, like an Mbappe player of the month, it's not a direct one-to-one -one comparison, but this is the first time we've had Liga F, so it's also a bit new. We're going to have to figure it out. But this is a player with hype that is nearing that level, and people are still going to do the SBC over time no matter what. That's why I'm excited for it because it's such a meta card. And if we talk about fodder and if we talk about how many SBC segments is this going to require, like, I mean, what have we had for player SBC so far? Nine segments, nine. I mean, the Holland SBC was only what was it, two different separate segments of four each, so like eight, like we are going to have the biggest SBC of the year with this SBC release. The question is, is it going to be a disgusting list of squads, like 20, because they're going to go with the low rated, like they've been doing a lot of low rated squads in quantity, or are they going to go with some higher rated squads, which is what a lot of us have our fingers crossed for, for some 88 and some 89 rated squads to make this part of the fodder market go up. I think it's inevitable there's going to be some 88 rated squads at the very least inside of this, even if EA go annoyingly low with the rating requirements. And I think that would start to make some of these cards go up in value. I don't know if there's really a lot of time to invest in these. I don't think these cards are going to just absolutely explode unless the value is great. If this Puteus value looks great, if it's like a less than a million coins, which I think would be pretty good value for this card especially considering it's out for a long time and it's a player of the month and her other promo card is 1.5 million coins I don't see it being that cheap but if it's that cheap then I would think you would see some prices explode in reality this is just going to be and we talk about this a lot when you get a play of the month SBC like this or an icon SBC and you start to get those that stack up throughout the year right it just kind of lifts the floor on the fodder prices and you start to see fodder prices just kind of slowly lift off. That's what makes fodder rise every single year during October, usually, didn't happen this year. But in November too, as you start to have more icon SBCs, more player of the months and, and bigger players that EA releasing, requiring more squads, and it just kind of lifts the floor value of those cards because they're just constantly in demand more. Even if the SBCs aren't crazy, but they're still there and people are doing them. That's what this is going to do to the high rated fodder if there's some 88 89 rated requirements inside of it so that's my guess 1.5 mil i think we'd hold all the high rated fodder still i don't think unless it's spiked like crazy you'd be looking to sell it today i'm even somebody who's invested five six hundred thousand coins into 91 rodri i'm still sitting here chilling on these cards all bought for right around 39 to 40k I'm just waiting for them to rise. It's kind of like the Team of the Week investment, right? I'm just putting those coins aside, adding a couple of Rodri's here or there, and today will finally hopefully be the day where we start to see some of the fruits of those investments. So that's how I think that's going to impact the market from a fodder standpoint. Now, I mentioned the Rafinha and the Barca links. There absolutely could be some Barca links that have a little bit of a rise today, but the only thing to consider is not many people are going to get this SBC done today. Like it's going to take a while. If it's 15 squads, if it's 20 squads, it's going to take a while to get this done. So I wouldn't imagine these cards rising up a whole lot today. I could see a bit of a, maybe a rise towards content, but it wouldn't be like a crazy spike or it wouldn't be a price. If there is a spike that would last forever, because again, people have to actually get the SBC for there to be true demand. And not as many people are going to have that today as will as there will be in the next couple of weeks as it takes time to craft. So that's kind of my thoughts on the whole Putea situation. Again, it's, it's going to be really dependent upon when the SBC drops today, how many requirements are there for the squads and what's the actual overall price it's going to look pricey. Like our reaction to looking at it, it's going to be like, wow, that's expensive because it's going to be the biggest SBC of the year. But I'm telling you guys, man, those are the types of SBCs that are fun to grind towards. I did player of the month Mbappe last year. I'd never done a player of the month Mbappe SBC or like not an early stage player of the month Mbappe. And doing that SBC last year was insane because I was able to put this card in my team and use him for months down the line and still build around him and use a lot of other different cards around him. But I was just like, I had never done that before. And it was a fun experience, to be honest. I wouldn't do it again for an Mbappe, especially, 
I don't know. Three, it would be a really expensive SBC this year. But I have not really used Puteus. Last year I used her for a couple of games at the end of the year. So this is really, really intriguing to me. I need a player of her caliber as a center attacking mid in my current team right now. She would be perfect. I'd have no links, but she'd be perfect for the squad. We just have to figure it out later. So I'm really excited for this one. And like I said, I'm probably going to start, depending on how the SBC looks price-wise, not spending fodder on hero packs and icon packs and mostly looking into those. Now, as we're talking about this massive SBC, there's got to be ways to craft it, right? Well, the upgrade packs that we've had so far haven't been that amazing. However, there's a new one in the code. It's not going to be earth shattering or anything like that, but there's an 81 plus combo. Remember, we had the 80 plus combo. There's an 81 plus combo that was added to the code last week. I would imagine that that drops today as well could potentially help with the craft tomorrow on Tuesday. We probably have another upgrade pack that would help us with the craft there. So that's things to consider regarding that. Maybe look at the gold commons and the gold rare situation in your club. Maybe even check out your transfer list. I've got a bunch of gold rares on my transfer list that the ones that are below 81 rated, they're going to get chucked into upgrade pack SBCs to maybe turn out some more 84s, 85s, 86s if we get lucky from upgrade packs to put into an SBC like that. I know there's not a great menu craft or grind that's out right now, but maybe this is the beginning of it, and maybe we can find something here with, I don't know about League SBCs. I don't know if that's really craftable and grindable, but, you know, watch for the upgrade packs today. We'll see if EA do anything special there. And then also, as we talk about Monday content, usually it's not that big of a day, but Puteus, that makes it big. Upgrade packs, we'll be looking at that too. And then I do want to do a quick shout out here for another live friendly mode, because last week we had the... Uh, what was it a one nation friendly that was released on Monday? We have the Evo arena that's still here too. I wouldn't be surprised if we had another friendly mode. I know they just dropped a rush mode yesterday and there was some issues with that, but Mondays have been the days when we've been getting those. But uh, yeah, besides that, I wouldn't expect a whole lot else today. Maybe there's some other leaks about other things going on SBC wise, but that's why I've kind of picked up on some cards in the market because stuff that people may be getting into after champs rewards today, I wanted to get into some of that stuff. Like Delo at 217, he was he's one of those cards that if you look at his graph, it just looks like this, straight up and straight down. Even with the Puteus coming today, there's probably plenty of people who want to buy this Delo card that won't care too much. And I know that Delo maybe is going to get impacted in price a little bit because of uh, the new left back, Nuno Tavares, but... His price is still held very well throughout the weekend, even with that uh, card out. So, and then the same thing with Trent, right? I bought Trent yesterday at 329, and he's now back up to 350. I bought one more again. So, it's looking good for the market for a little bit of a rise today. If you want to go less risk, I think you go out of pack specials, heroes, and icons. But if you want to go a little bit more risk, maybe some golds, and watch Road to the Knockouts. Road to the Knockouts with games for Champions League coming in just one day tomorrow. Maybe start to think about selling in the hype for a few of those, especially if they're lower rated, because lower rated stuff, you always want to sell in the hype. Um, higher rated stuff, you know, you can maybe wait a little bit longer on. Frimpong is up a ton, but they're expected to win and score. Like this card it has gone from 700,000 coins to now 830 at the moment. So he's up big. It's maybe time to start thinking about cashing out, because especially if somebody like eclipses both upgrade requirements and is trending towards the upgrade later on this week, you probably want to sell before the card gets upgraded because oftentimes after there's no more upgrades to chase for a live card or for how these look, it's kind of the first two plus ones, right? And then after that, it's like a big time waiting game until that last top two in the league could be even figured out. I think you want to sell on the hype for these for sure. We'll talk more about the live cards throughout this week. I know a lot of you guys have invested in them, but today's a day where they'll probably continue to go up and you could just rack in the extra coins as they do so. So that's the big look into a big day today with the Puteus SBC most likely coming. I don't want to say 100% because you never know with EA Sports. Since this is such a big of an SBC, would they want to put it on a Monday because because it follows their trend, maybe would they push it off? If they push it off, we'll be very disappointed. But I wanted to talk a lot about that today because I'm excited for it. I know that's the type of SBC that a lot of us would really like on this game, though. And it could be really, really a huge improvement to the grind and to the craft, to the menus, if EA add a couple of other packs as well into our squads. So I'll stop yapping about that. But make sure you check out the second channel video. Once again, it was an absolutely mad day of foot champs. My best finish ever with the hero pack that we did yesterday as well. And if you guys enjoyed this one, drop thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in a Twitch stream today. The link is down below in the description. Have a great Monday. See you guys there. Peace out.